Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. So glad to see you. I've got Gino with me today, folks. Hi Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and Gino's buddy Dave is going to be tuning in today for sure. We're out here on the Niagara River. Uh, it's cold, yes, and uh, but the beauty is it's late November and we're going to be jigging today, folks. So we're going to be looking for walleye, bass, trout, whatever's around. And uh, that's the beauty. You can get any of those species here in Niagara River. And we're going to be jigging. And the thing with the jigs now, folks, there's two different approaches. There's more of a finesse approach and there's more of an aggressive approach. And the thing is, oh, I thought I had a hit there. The thing is, jigging, I'm going to be jigging. But I'm right now I've got more of a finesse approach because I'm using a bait that has no action on the tail. Just a straight bait and it's more of a finesse presentation. I also have a rod rigged up with a twister tail which is a more aggressive approach. So you're jigging, it's the same technique, but one you're using a more aggressive bait, one you're using more of a finesse bait. And sometimes it makes a difference. Now Gino, you've got a paddle tail on? Yes. Okay, Gino's got a paddle tail on and that's also a more aggressive approach. So I've got the less aggressive approach, more finesse. Gino has the more aggressive and I also have a twister tail rigged up. So we're gonna try some different things here this morning and see what the fish are on and then stick with that technique. So glad you can join us folks, so stay tuned. Oh, there we go folks. Gino just, Gino just says I'm moving to the front of the boat and on my same cast in, whammo. So it looks like the finesse approach is working and of course I'm using the flexi jig folks and you know what that means, great hook sets. The hook, the hook flexes down and it makes for a great hook set with the flexi jig. And I've got a walleye Gino. Beautiful. That's a nice walleye right there, isn't it? Nice fish. Yeah. Perfect. Hey? That's what you want. You know where he's going, right Gino? Yeah, right in the box. We, <laughs> we, of course, you know, we do catch and release folks, but we also catch and keep, it depends. And today we're gonna to be catching and keeping. That is one nice, beautiful walleye right there. Look at that, he took the finesse approach, Gino. Hey, he took the finesse approach. Flexi jig right in there nice, eh? Look at that hook set, beautiful. What do you want? He can go right in the live well. Uh, I gotta put water in the live well, so we're not even set up here this morning, folks. First cast, so <laughs> we'll get some water in that live well. But you know, I gotta, while we're filling the live well, I'm gonna get my line right back out there again because usually where there's one, there's more. I'm on my way, Gino. The front of the boat has struck this shot. Now you got the paddle tail on, right? I got the paddle tail on. So you got the more aggressive approach. Oh, it's a nice Another walleye. walleye. Beauty. Look at that, he just inhaled it too. Very good. So you know what that means? That means you could use an aggressive approach or a finesse approach. These fish are just on the bite today, folks, and that's a great sign. That was what, your second cast? We're just getting third cast, okay. <laughs> I stand corrected. Nice fish, Gino. Oh, he just inhaled, inhaled it. Inhaled. And you right. got the chartreuse head on. Chartreuse head? Nice. I right, need the needle nose. Yeah, we got him right here. That's a beauty. Gino, you don't even got that fish in the live well. <laughs> and like. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need you on the net. Yeah. Unbelievable, folks. So I guess it doesn't really matter, finesse approach or aggressive approach, it looks like we're in the fish today and we're just bouncing these flexi jigs off the bottom. Oh, it's another nice walleye. Another just walleye. bouncing off the bottom. Nice, they're a perfect size. Hey, isn't that a nice size? That's okay, don't worry, there. Just about the same size as yours. Now I got the black head on and you've got chartreuse, chartreuse head on. And they're both working. Twisted. Twisted it, okay. Hey, that's a nice Niagara nice River walleye there. right there. Gino, he's going to join yours right in the live well. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. The live well's looking good. And we're just getting started, folks. Wow, this is going to be a day today. But I do want to show you as well with Gino's bait. We're going to get to that in a minute because... Uh, we talked about his paddle tail before he rigged it on, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna show you what I mean in a minute. Okay, so we're using half ounce flexi jigs today, and that's what I've got on right now. And what I was talking about with the bait that Gino's running, the paddle tail, it actually came, the bait has an eye on it. 
but so does his jig head. So we talked about it before, and if you have a bait with eyes on it, and you have a jig head with eyes on it, cut the eyes off of the bait that you have because you don't want to run a, a, a lure down there with four eyes. So what Gino did was he cut the head off of his thumper tail there, and, uh, and that way he's only got one set of eyes on his jig and obviously it's making a difference for him so sometimes because if you leave it and you're fishing with four eyes you might not get the, the hit that you're expecting so just a little tip that I like to keep in mind when I'm running baits like that uh, I don't necessarily like to run four eyes down there I only like to run with two fish on yeah we're just joking I just missed one and I said you got my fish what another, another nice walleye you never know, right? Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Oh yeah, that's a nice, nice eating walleye. Right there. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Good chunky fish. Good chunky fish. Here, I'll put him in the live well. Put him in the live well. All right. Thank that's you. A beauty. Hey. Oh, 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 you could. I've got the braided line with a fluorocarbon leader, folks, and I could feel absolutely everything. That was a nice thump of a hit. Oh, I love it when they hit like that aggressive. Oh, this is unbelievable fishing. Jigging for walleye. Oh, what do we got? Oh, we got a silver. silver. Look at that. They, they hit hard. They hit hard too. He he really yeah, hammered it. Look at it. It's a beauty. He hammered it. Okay, we're going to let him go. Unless you want him. No. Okay. <laughs> we're going for walleye right now, folks. But that was a solid, solid hit. And like I say, with this braided line, you feel absolutely everything. And as you can see, we're casting far, as far as we can. And the current goes this way. So we're actually working our jigs back in against the current, nice and slowly. And it's triggering these hits. So that was a bonus fish, a nice uh, nice silver bass. But uh, the walleye bite is what's doing it today, folks. And we're loving it out here today. Loving it. Oh. Uh, speaking of which, oh no, that was bottom. Okay, I'm a little excited there. You see that hook set on the bottom? <laughs> there are rocks here too, so uh, we got to be careful for them. But we're still working these baits just right on the bottom and just jigging them back against the current. And like I say, and it's triggering those hits. The river's on fire. Even. <laughs> I might as well just stay at the front of the boat. Oh, it's another nice walleye. Good one. Good one. Good one. Look at that, the mouth wide open, eh? Look at that. They're liking that thumper tail. Yeah. Nice, and he inhaled it. Look at your jig is just right in, totally in his mouth. They're all beauties, every one of them. Nice. While, while I was landing that fish, I come back and took a jig. I had a hit and a miss, he took half of my bait. <laughs> That's okay, I gotta rig another one on. I'm gonna stay with the finesse approach. You're gonna stay with the aggressive approach. Between the two of us, we're getting into some real nice walleye. Right on the right on the drop. I like to let it fall on a semi-slack line, and he hit it on the fall. Look at this. We're fishing. It's 40 degree water temp. You're talking cold water walleye, folks. Cold water walleye. And I'm loving every minute of it. And I think you are too, aren't you? Oh, loving this. <laughs> Water's cold, but the fishing's on fire. Uh, for some reason, it's cold outside, but we don't feel very cold, do we? <laughs> Oh boy, this is unbelievable. Okay, walleye. Free ice fishing walleye. Gotta love that. Hey, look at that. They're just a perfect, perfect eating size, eh? Yeah. See, and this is what I mean about the flexi jig. You see that hook set? That's right up the snout. And that's all because the hook flexes down. You get those beautiful hook sets, beautiful fish, and a beautiful day. We're loving it out here today. Okay, in the box. And back out we go, because this is just too much fun. Jigging for cold water walleye. Absolutely love it. I'm coming, Gino, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. Nice. Oh Feels boy. A bigger, whatever it is. Oh yeah, another nice walleye. Oh, Gino, that's beauty. Nice fish. Hey, eh? the, the two eye method is working for you. <laughs> well, the four eyes just isn't natural. Look at that, that's a dandy. 
Are we having a day already? Hey? Yes. This is a beauty. Look That's at this a one. Nice fish. Oh, he just came off too. Just came off. Oh, don't fall in. Don't fall in. That's a beautiful fish. Nice fish, Eva. Oh yeah. You know what, folks? They're hitting. They're hitting. It's late November. It's cold. And these fish coming out of that cold water are gonna be extra tasty. And all you gotta do is bundle up and dress for the warmth, but they wanna bulk up for the winter. They do. And uh, so do we. That's why we stay nice and warm. But you know what, folks? You get an opportunity. Get out there. The month of November, December, that pre-ice fishing weather. Get into some nice walleye, some nice fish like we're doing today, and have yourself some fun. I wanna thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. That's a beauty.